Hey everyone, this is yours truly coming at you once again. I just wanted to say a few things in regards to uh, this T.D. Jakes situation, right? First of all, let me just say that, you know, I, I never really cared for um, Bishop T.D. Jakes. Um, with a lot of things that he represents, a lot of things that he do, I think it's contrary to scriptures and he's really not doctrinally standing on what he say he is which is apostolic um i've preached against him spoke out against him and things like that uh, but it's more so from a spiritual doctrinal perspective but having said that i will say that the current situation that is going on with uh, td jakes being accused of um, all these uh, sexual uh, misbehaviors and conduct. Um, I just want to say I stand with Jake's at this moment, at this time, because I think it's wrong for people to gossip and slander and backbite and attack a man that could possibly be lies. We don't know the the facts haven't come out yet, so um, it could turn out to be turn out to be true. It could turn out to be a lie, but I don't think that we should be jumping the gun and attacking a man based on lies. You know, a lot of these YouTubers, you know, uh, they all about making the money. They care about money more than anything. They have no values, they have no principles. And a lot of them are anti-God, anti-church, anti-pastor, uh, and anything that have to do with God, they're anti anyway. Uh, and so, you know, they're trying to capitalize on this and make a lot of money in what they're doing and talking about and so on. Uh, but that's greed and you know uh, that's what scriptures call filthy lucre or greed where money becomes your god and idolatry you do anything to make some money you talk about him a lot of youtubers are prostituting yourself just to make some money because you don't want to get the facts you don't want to wait for the truth to come out uh, but you want to attack and that's wrong especially us that are in the church we most definitely need to follow what the scripture says, you know, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, right? Uh, no, no uh, accusation should be brought against a preacher should not be received against an elder unless you have two or three witnesses. And thus far, there has been no hearing. There has been no witnesses coming forward. Uh, there, we have not seen anything. Everything is based on hearsay and that's wrong. And so I have to stand on the right side and the right side is standing with T.D. Jakes, Bishop T.D. Jakes, because uh, this is wrong and I don't care for him. So it has nothing to do with him, me being a fan of his or anything. Yes, he's articulate, charismatic. He's a, a great speaker. He can dramatize the word, have that charisma and so on. Right. And, you know, but I see him more as a motivational speaker uh, uh, and he does preach the word. But I see him more as a motivational speaker versus really, really uh, doing what a, a preacher, a pastor, an elder should be doing, right? Instructing and warning God's people. But that's neither here nor there. But the main thing, the main point I wanna make is that we can't be following gossip and slander because you be up today and down tomorrow and we should never kick a man when he's down. And even if all this turns out to be true, if he repent, then I'll be the first to stand in line and forgive him. Because, you know, all of us have sinned. All have sinned and come short to the glory of God. And those that want to attack the church, you're going to be one of the, one of the ones when you die where a preacher is going to do your funeral. And so you should watch what you're saying, what you're doing. You think it's funny. You think you're making money. But this is not funny. This is a man's life and his reputation. And we should uh, not be um, glorying in this. So that's my thing. I stand with T.D. Jakes as it stands today. All right. God bless you.